Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, today I'm talking about um, Paramore for the first time since I started this channel. Um, they've got a new song out called This Is Why. Uh, it was released on the 28th of September. You know what? I'm excited about it. Are you? Justin Hawkins Rides Again Again Right, so this is their first song after having a break for four years. Paramore's music style has generally been regarded as alternative rock or pop rock. And the band's later albums included a more sort of new wave and synth pop sound. A lot of people do uh, evolve into, um, you know, synthesizers and stuff, don't they? And then sometimes they devolve from synthesizers. You just never know. Synthesizers always prop up at... Uh, always pop up at, at certain points in, in people's careers and I for one am a massive synthesizer enthusiast that's why I got this DX7 tattoo that's a Yamaha keyboard um, uses FM synthesis um, some of my other tattoos are things like um, uh, FM synthesis algorithms it's boring but it's part of my life anyway let's have a look at this song and see what's what <laughs> Birds. Really cool, um, that sort of stabbery stuff is and uh, combined with the do -do 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 boom boom already sounds sort of like 60s easy listening. And as you know, I love that stuff, that kind of stuff. Such a cool bass line. It's the pentatonic scale. I'd imagine this is this is probably an E minor or E major. Yeah. No, it's an E minor. Lovely uh, ninth note in there. I really love uh, the vibrato in her voice. It's so, it's really subtle. You can hardly, it's barely, it's, it's almost imperceptible, but it is there. My friend Brian Langen from uh, Langen, Frost and Wayne, an incredible musician, uh, he taught me this one. When you hear a guitar sound like that and it's sort of... This is why. And it has that sort of kicking, you know, that, that kind of timbre. It's really difficult to put, to put your finger on it, but it's not a Les Paul. We know this much. Um, it has a sort of a, a very particular kind of twang to it. It's always worth asking the question, is that a Strat? I think on this occasion it probably is. It sounds like one. Did it? lovely dynamics when it kicks off it, it's not actually they're not pumping a load of distorted guitars into that chorus they're just playing it with way more intensity so all of the you know the difference in dynamics that you perceive in the chorus is coming from the fingers of the of the musicians it's impressive stuff here we go I love the way that drum drum set is recorded and mixed. Um, it's it's really seventies sort of funk sounding. It's really tight, small room kind of vibe to it. 
<laughs> you know, sounds like it, they might have put tea towels over the skins or something like that to to dampen it a little bit. But that's that's a really seventies sound. And it, obviously, the eighties it became much more about <laughs> big echoey rooms. And, but I like that intimate sort of drum set sound. Dead room sound. I can hear uh, I can hear a little some synthesizer arpeggios going on in the background. They haven't completely abandoned the synthesizers, which is encouraging to me. She's doing a horrible job on that makeup, but uh, she's so pretty. She doesn't need any makeup at all, but she's overdone it a bit there, I think. Floating like a cannonball. Now, where have I heard that before? Yeah, that was it. So it's not hard to fall when you float like a cannon. Yeah. So that cannonball song is the one that goes, Love taught me to lie. And then it goes, when you float like a cannonball. Damien Rice, cannonball. Is that what it's called? Anyway, um, that's that's where that that's why that lyric has a familiarity to it. It's a Damien Rice lyric. It's definitely more funky than I was expecting it to be. It's awesome, isn't it? variety in her vocal delivery from that sort of intimate sort of fragile breathy delicate uh, stuff at the beginning sung with real finesse and now she's really roaring and then silence It's always disturbing when people put too much makeup on, isn't it? I wonder why that's so upsetting. I wonder if it speaks to a kind of dysmorphia, doesn't it? Because it's like the mask, or it's a mask, but the way you perceive yourself, even with the mask, is different to the rest of the world. And when you get that wrong and it's really intense like that, it speaks to all manner of uh, mental illness, (laughs) obviously. It's just a little bit unsettling, isn't it? God. Anyway, it's lovely stuff. Welcome back, Paramore. Great stuff. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch one of these two videos. And uh, look after yourselves. Yeah, look after yourselves.